we are celebrating this because it is a unique partnership between the university and the local government and also the SMEs. Um, to get to where we are, uh, uh, CS has been a journey. We have had a partnership with the Kipria County with a view of um, using the university knowledge to help the SMEs and to help the SMEs specifically improve their manufacturing capability. It's a very happy day for me. Uh, for us to be able to demonstrate what we are capable of as a nation and as people in this country. I've enjoyed working alongside my friend and colleague, Dr. Miran Pioni. This is undoubtedly the University of the Future. <laughs> this one is really um, one of the many, but uh, it's also one that has been much, much bigger than what we've been doing uh, with them. So we are happy to, uh, to, uh, to celebrate uh, that. This dryer here, uh, six tons per hour, uh, part of two, part of three, uh, two of a similar size that are going to be installed at Kinamba in Sipiri, uh, or Kinamba in Mutanga, where we have big stores, 15,000 bags each. Um, now, uh, I think the reason we are celebrating in part uh, CS is that at the beginning it was assumed this machine would be bought from some place in Italy or some place like that. And, and uh, you know, uh, my temperament is, is that, you know, and, uh, frankly, no. <laughs> Why should we import a drive uh, like this? The engineers are here, uh, the technical people are here. The project has only been possible because of the culture that we have developed in the university and uh, the kind of teamwork that is there. We are capable of manufacturing, ladies and gentlemen. So all the controls for that uh, unit that you have seen were done by that dear students in equity. We must provide solutions for our people yesterday. And I think this is the university that has to do it. Let us pull up our thoughts. Let us head forward, head up, chest forward, and let us pull up and be able to manufacture. And I tell you, we have no business importing machines. We should be able to make our own machines. The way to improve productivity of agriculture is to ensure that the farmer is able to use machines that we make here. That we make here. And I want to encourage you, uh, the engineers in this university, to continue partnering. Uh, see, as my last point, we are supporting 1,600 small businesses like these two gentlemen. <laughs> 1,000 600. See, okay, sure. Today, we support them with different things. Put them together with the, with the engineering teams here, uh, giving them money. We have a small fund. You go over two, you have a check. 3.3 billion shillings. I think uh, the Kenya has aligned himself to the needs of Kenyans. They have further aligned to the university uh, three of the big four agenda. I I yeah, say that in the area of manufacturing is in the forefront because I visited the, the semiconductor factory here, which still seems to have a gap. And I want to give him uh, the assurance of government that the gap that is there, which is another building in order to complete the whole cycle, must be done before the end of this year. Money <laughs> belongs to government. The government is very, very deeply touched by the fact that uh, top grade school to research at the international level is being brought to the needs of our people as far as food security is concerned. We are aware Kenya is not poor and Kenya shall not be poor.
food. We are just poor managers of food. As we sell so much grain, and <coughs> cyclically, our people are dying of hunger. This is because we have not taken care of the grain. That's why I'm very happy that uh, Governor Mary from Yoko is at the county level. He's thinking of augmenting the national government activities of storing grain. I've also seen this machine in a miniature manner, which I'm challenging uh, the people of Laikipia to very quickly make public so that uh, our local farmers, even in Sierra, can have access to it and dry the grain properly so that they can keep it to the next season. I've actually been shocked at what I have seen here. Both the chemistry lab, both the chemistry lab and I found uh, very interesting things. Leather material, fine leather material being done. If one needs to take that to the market so that we stop importing leather. We import, we export hives as stupid idiots and then import that the leather. He wants to make the leather here for our people. So that if I want a new set of leather for my car, I would say, let me have the leather. I don't need the German because it is even better. Are we together here? I've also seen uh, him partnering finally, with industry, which is the greatest gap in our universities, all of them. We are too theoretical, we are in the average term. We must come down and work with the local industry, including the local industry. And you have just seen people here who are converting plastics into cardboard blocks. So there is something about this university. Then he works without making too much noise. Have you ever had him making noise anyway? Have you ever had him making noise anyway? You'll never hear him making noise anyway. I'm very glad that I came. I will come again before I go. So we are happy with that because for us it's something that we need to at scale up and uh, we are really happy uh, because of also the support that we have expressed uh, throughout your, uh, your tour of the university.